Start of the Vikings – Cultural Settlements in Forge of Empires Today, Monday, November 5th, 2018, the new feature Cultural Settlements started on the beta server. On the player worlds, it will not become available before January and even this depends on the success of the test. You are greeted immediately with that new feature. In the same way as we know it already from events. Build a settlement from a foreign culture and finish its questline to receive unique and powerful rewards. To develop the settlement, produce unique cultural goods and improve your relationship with the selected culture by building diplomacy buildings. Once the questline is finished, the settlement becomes self-sustainable. You can then select the culture again to gain even more unique rewards. Hint, a settlement is gone once you finished it. Those who want to test this new feature on their own can log in to the beta server. I once published a video about how to do that. Newly founded cities need at least the technology plowing on the technology tree to have access to cultural settlements. This you find at the end of the Iron Age. The connection to the cultural settlements is a boat that you can find northeast of your city in the sea. A click on that boat opens a startup window, asking you first about the desired culture that you want to visit. First, there are the Vikings. A mouse move over the settlement reward displays the properties. It will provide coins and, as a great match to the Viking theme, an attack bonus. On top, you will get supplies if the building is motivated. Then it no longer can be plundered. Don't forget that this reward building for your main city can be upgraded in many steps as already mentioned in my introduction video. Those who complete the questline in time will receive additional rewards. If you change to the next page, you will see the Egypt culture. The related rewards are still invisible and instead of the start button, it just promises coming soon. Currently, only the Vikings can be tested on the beta server. Therefore, this video is named the start of the Vikings, as it shows how to build a city for the Vikings. Arriving in that far country, you see a snowy region with animals that we already know, like the Hinds, and new animals like the Seals. There you have access to a questline of 20 quests that has to be completed within 21 days. The first quest asks us to construct three shacks. This is exactly the same as long ago when we started our main city in the Stone Age. You notice immediately that a street connection is required. This is also the same as in the main city. And still all roads lead to Rome. While the shacks are constructed, we can have a look on the new things that came with the Vikings. Vikings are the population of that outpost and, as in the main city, you need population to be able to build production buildings. Building the shacks will provide the necessary population, the Vikings. Diplomacy is comparable to happiness in the main city and a symbol for how much trust from the Vikings you already achieved. You increase it by special buildings of that new culture. Copper coins in the outpost are comparable to the coins in your main city. They are produced in the shacks and required to produce cultural goods. These cultural goods are axes, produced by an axsmith, meat, produced by a meat brewery, horns, produced by beast hunters, wool produced on a wool farm. 
these cultural goods can only be produced in that outpost. Using these cultural goods, you can release new buildings and expansions for that outpost. In the meantime, the shacks are constructed and we receive coins for the main city as reward. The second quest asks us to construct four runestones. The runestone is such a diplomatic building to increase the trust of the Vikings. Each runestone provides six points of trust. It is built using coins and supplies from your main city. The reward for completing the second quest is a self-aid kit. Now an axe smith has to be constructed. These rocks in the city can neither be moved nor destroyed. Every time you start a new city, they are in a different position. So every new outpost is a new challenge. Without an expansion, we only can place one axe smith. Our city is already very crowded. I am eager to see how this will develop. We completed the third quest and received supplies for it. We now have to increase the culture to 55. We currently only have runestones to do that. Therefore, we add some more. While these are constructed, we take a look on the city's environment. We see that boat that brought us here and recognize that the outpost is surrounded by sea and mountains. It will not be able to grow very much. Six runestones are still not enough. I could have calculated this before. Fortunately, these runestones only have a few seconds building time. We complete the fourth quest and receive five forge points for it. The fifth quest requires two shrines. This type of buildings has to be enabled in the town hall, which is called embassy here. To enable this new building type, we need access, but we still don't have them. Our city still is tiny. Let us have a look on how we can expand it. We can buy expansions with diamonds. But we don't want to spend diamonds to expand the city that will be deleted again in three weeks, do we? This must be possible without diamonds. Indeed, there are four more possibilities to pay for expansions. Currently, we have none of the required goods. We will have to concentrate on this. After one hour building time, the axe myth is completed and we can start to produce some axes. This was the start of the Viking city. Of course, this will be continued, but for now I use the four hour X production time to edit this video. You will get the next video soon.